Hey, so this is the video I told you I put together going over how to review your website and like show you what's going on with it, kind of dissect it a little bit so uh, so you can understand like why you aren't um, seeing the type of traffic that you want. Um, a lot of times with online business, people say or they promise that they'll do websites and, and if you get a website that that's, it, that's all it takes. Uh, that's not true. So there's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes with websites. Uh, and that's the stuff that happens on the page and also behind uh, behind the scenes that people don't see. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into it. So I'm going to go over like a couple of those things today so you understand what you need to do in order to start like changing and getting traffic coming to your website. Um, so the first thing I'll talk about um, is content. And then next I'll go into citations and then last I'll go into uh, backlinks. And those three things combined are generally what makes a website successful. Now there are other factors that go into all of that stuff like rules and laws by Google, um, certain algorithms and things like that. but I'll keep this like pretty basic so I don't overwhelm you. So on the front of your website, the first thing that you want to do is, even though this is a shop, you want to have a home page that they come to where they understand what you're about. So um, I had a hard time trying to find that home page. I just kind of went to log in and sign up, uh, which aren't how you want it to look. So what should happen is when people come to this page, they should see something that says refer business solutions and what you guys stand for. So um, I should have an understanding that if you're an urban store, then that, that should be well rec that should be well recognized. Or if you're not an urban store, then I'm um, just a, a ladies' clothing store. Uh, that should be well recognized. Um, or if you like a, a fashion, um, a ladies' fashion uh, boutique or whatever the case may be, that should all be. Um, I should all be able. To, I should I should be able to see that with ease. So something else I wanted to show you is that when you right click on these images and you save them, um, because they're a generic name. Um, you're not gonna pop up um, unless someone searches image. What's the name of that again? Uh, let's see, image B five four nine six one six eight. Like that's no one's searching that. Obviously, that's not a keyword. So what you want to do is take these images and you want to change them and save them as um, specific keywords to what you're looking to rank for, and then uh, optimize the photos. So there needs to be some type of flow on the front page. Website design 100% is what makes um, people who get to your page convert into clients for your business so all that stuff matters so I compared a, a online store in this in the same area um, and this one in particular is house of fresh out of ATO so this is the difference from what you're doing and what they're doing and I want you to understand it there's nothing wrong with putting what you're selling on the front page it's just really important that in this header up here you really show people what you stand for the gear you want house of fresh so they've got According to them, they provide all the fresh gear for people to wear. Next, I want to go over um, using this tool that I like. It goes over pretty much everything. It's super easy. Arefs it's about three hundred bucks a year. Um, but when I put referredbusinesssolutions.com in there, what it shows me is that um, you've never had on-site SEO, so you've never actually ranked in Google, which means that you're obviously not going to have traffic. You won't have Arefs rank, and you won't have a domain rating which this right here is really important because it talks about how Google trusts you and the higher that is the better um, these backlinks just so you understand what backlinks are when we go to your page a backlink is kinda like if I were to select this and it took me to another website um, then that and that website referred back to you know my shop or your shop or whatever else that's considered a backlink what it is is link juice so Google will give you trust based on who you're linked to it's like the power of association so if you hang out with a really bomb crowd that makes millions of dollars, then most people will assume that you're also a millionaire um, amongst those. So websites work the same way. So I also want to show you what House of Fresh looks like so you understand really what I was talking about when I said that you're missing a lot of data up here. So these guys aren't doing something extraordinary, but they have traffic coming in because someone's done some type of SEO for them. So they have a domain rating um, that's fairly decent for the amount of backlinks that they have. They're, it's it's all right. It means um, they really need a higher quality backlink. Um, so uh, you'll see a lot of people do or come in and pay for backlinks, uh, which is illegal and it's considered black label um, SEO or blacklist SEO. Um, the UR rating over here is 20. We don't really too much focus on that because that's just topical. That's what's on the front page. Uh, we really care about what's going on throughout the whole entire domain. This is what you're really missing. So keywords, right? If somebody was looking for something, they want to know a way to search for you. In order for this, in order to search for you, you have to have an inclination of what you're looking for. So if I was looking for whatever you stood for, right? 
even if I just put in referabusinesssolutions.com or, or uh, excuse me, .net, that should be a keyword that you rank for because it's your own personal business name. And if it's not, then we have a problem. So in looking at their keywords, um, they're getting a lot of traffic from a couple different things. The way these work is you just kind of add each of them up. This is an opportunity for someone to search. 30 times they search a month for this. So that's the opportunity to be in front of someone 30 times. In addition to Cookies Mini Vacuum Sealer. <laughs> this is a blog or something, I think. Or maybe this, oh no, it's products, okay. So that's 30 more times someone has the opportunity to be in front of them. All these keywords add up to how many times people are going to be in front of them. Now these aren't the best keywords that they have, obviously because their their key their uh, traffic is lower than what is expected when you're using organic keywords the right way. So if they were doing this correctly, they have 260 people who who be searching for them at minimum, um, and that's who be coming to their website. So these are just a couple of things that you can go over and you can do for yourself. Now the first being that you want to add some content to your site. Google wants to see 1,500 words on the front page, so it's really important that you go in there and you, for each of these items, you add a description. A very detailed description because it's the only way you're going to get credit for. It's the only way you're going to get credit for uh, your product. You also have to clean up the image. So I'm gonna go back. That's it on this. Same thing. Content. You need some. You need words in the description, and the alternate text has to mean something. So the image has to mean something. Like I said before, you don't want the image to be something generic. All right, next, um, I said I was going to talk to you about citations. So what citations are for your business, you want to have your business put somewhere um, on a digital local, uh, a digital directory. A lot of those digital directories are like Yelp, um, MapQuest, White Pages, Yellow Pages, um, Easy Local, um, and now even Facebook have it. So it's just where you're going to put your business name, phone number, and address. And the higher the rated of the directory that you use, Google will tend to give you more favor. So that when you go to put in your Google My Business, uh, which keep in mind, Google treats every business as if it were servicing everyone across the world. It, it treats them like pizza parlors. So you want to make sure that you put an actual location for your headquarters and then go in and add additional locations um, for each of your um, each of the service areas that you're providing business. So if you're trying to reach people in all of Atlanta or all of Texas or the case may be, then you're going to want to put uh, Google My Business in each of those cities in order for people to find you online whenever they're looking for something so I hope uh, a lot of this was helpful to you I hope you understand what I was saying when I went over everything if you have any questions you can just send me a message and let me know um, if you need help with this I don't I don't mind helping you whatsoever uh, we can set up a time to get together and talk and talk uh, talk and go over what it kind of takes in order for you to get um, where you wherever it is you want to be uh, it doesn't have to be the same as house of fresh or whatever else um, but if not, if you just want to try and go and do these things off of your own, I don't have a problem with that either. Um, I'm going to follow up with you and get some feedback anyway to figure out um, what you got as far as value added to you and what, what I could have done better to make it clearer and easier for you to, to navigate and then really apply to your business.